Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordinal numbers. In this tutorial we're going to cover numbers 50 to 100 and how we write them. So let's look at our first example. Let's suppose we have this number. Now you know this, we've done this in the previous tutorial, 51st. But how do we write this? Well, we write down 50 That represents a 5. And what about the 1, the first? We know how to spell word, uh, how to spell first. There it is, 51st. Now, in one of the previous tutorials, I put a dash between the 50 and the first. You don't have to. In this tutorial, I'm not going to put the dashes in. So that is 51st. Let's have a look at our second example. Suppose this time we've got 60 second. How do we write this down? Well, we write down the 60 first, 60, and then we've got the 2, which represents second. 60 second. I'm going to go through this relatively quickly, because we've done these before. The only difference is that we haven't done numbers 50 to 100. We've done 20 numbers up to 50. The same pattern follows. So what about 73rd? The same thing. 70. That's the first part. The second part is 3rd. And that's how easy it is. Let's look at a couple more. Say we've got 87th. 87th. First, we write down 80, there it is, and now we write down 7th. There we go, 87th. One final example on this side, we've got 96th. How do we write this down? 96th. There we go, 96th. So we've covered all the tens, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and we've covered some of the endings as well. The one thing we haven't done is covered those ending in zero. We did them up to 50, and now we're going to do them from 60 onwards. Now these look a little bit tricky, but they're actually not. They're very easy. They follow a, same, a similar pattern. So we've got now 60th. How do we write this down? 60th. Notice here the ending over here. Tieth. What about the next one? 70th. How do we write this down? Well, we write down 7 and then we write down tieth. Tieth is not a word, it's just the ending of this one. Notice it is exactly the same. 70th. Now we have 80th. Now how do you think we write this down? Well, we write down 8th. We don't put another T. The T is already there. But the ending is exactly the same. Tieth. The next one we've got is 90th. How do we write this down? Well, we write down 90th. Do you notice the tieth appears in each and every single one? However, there is a slight difference. We've got here hundredth, one hundredth. How do we write this down? We can write down one and hundredth. I'm not sure if that appeared, but it, it appears with a th. You basically write one hundred and put a th at the end. The only one which is different is the hundredth. All the others whether it's the 20th, 30th, 40th, 
fiftieth, sixtieth, seventieth, eightieth, ninetieth, all of them end with T I E T H. The only different one is hundredth. So that is how we write ordinal numbers up to 100.